You know what's happening, right? I I know you know what's happening. This is this is the la- this this is the last of this series of Let's Get Trump brought to you by this prosecutor who is swinging for the fences who has said I'm going to do it. I'm going to be the star. Can you see her face? Can you see it? Do you know how to read? Do you know how to read um, faces and, and affects? Do you, do you understand this? Do you see Fanny Willis's face? She's looking like, I'm going to show you. Now, I'm going to I'm gonna tell you the truth now. Listen, I, I'm, I'm, I, I, I hope you don't mind me being honest with you. Because that's all I can do is be honest with you. But in the meantime, while we're doing that, Lahaina, forget about it. Why? Because America has the attention span of a gnat. America does not understand what cannot handle two, three, four things in a row. It doesn't, it, it, it doesn't work. You can't do this. America can't do it. Wait a minute, hold it. Indictment, Lahaina, Hunter Biden. Wait a minute, hold it. That, what was that? Three things? Because we have the attention span of a gnat. And we're all ADD, HD, we're on medications and the like. But before I forget, because I'm ADD to a, to a point when it comes to this, please like this video. Please, I'm telling you, subscribe to Lionel Nation on YouTube. It's absolutely incredible. And, and we also ask you to like this video and support it and hit that little bell so you're notified of live streams and new uh, videos. And we thank you for that. By the way, I'm a prestidigitation expert. Sleight of hand. Look here. Look, look over here. What? Here's Trump. Oh, okay. The shadow government, the ghouls, the people who are, I don't want to say responsible for Lahaina, but you know what I mean. The shadow government are waiting to move in and just take it over. And wait until you see, ultimately, the people who buy that up. Guess. Use your head. Think of the biggest names. The biggest names. The biggest names. The biggest concerns. We own this now. What's the best ways to buy real real estate? Trash it. <laughs> just trash. I mean, does, it, does this... This Seriously. Does this in any way shock you? Is there anything that these... Shadow government ghouls and overlords. Is there anything? Is there anything they can do that shocks you? Anything? Have you ever said, "Oh no, they're not going to do that"? Please, stop it. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. They're right now. They're, they're you. You. You are seeing something which is a a a media that we're told do not go into detail regarding Lahaina and Maui. Don't just. Show some pictures, go like that, and that's it. Don't talk to them. Don't talk about warnings. Don't talk about how people wanted to make that a green and a le- Just stop it. Don't fuel suspicion. Don't fuel anything. And don't ever come back. Don't come back six months from now or a year from now and say, hey, look at all the, the low-income housing that... Wasn't there a $5 million house there? Well, I'll be damned. Look at this. Now it's all green and windmills and tr- You know, it's almost like, like Klaus Schwab and his cronies, for example, and I'm not blaming Klaus Schwab per se, but I mean this, this great reset. It's like these folks, these people come out of nowhere and here they are and they moved in right at the Worst possible moment. You know, if I didn't know better, and I'm not saying they were responsible for this, but if I didn't know better, I would say, by virtue of how quickly they responded, do you think people could have known a month? No, that's impossible. That's impossible. See, because that would that would imply something so ghoulish and so horrible. Do you think that anything could have been done possibly maybe to perhaps slow down the reaction? No. Do you think, I don't think anybody, you you know, as far as we know, and we've always talked, we've talked about stuff, weather modification and weather. And I know people are saying, wait a minute. And until, remember, until we have proof, 
because there are people right now on TikTok in particular and others and other forms who are saying, how come this building, I know, how come this building standing and this one isn't, I don't know. I don't know. I we're, Listen, let, you know, we know a lot of things, but we are not experts in fire damage control and the results of arson. But here is the thing. Last night, as I watched or tried to watch the reaction to the Trump indictment, the question you have to ask yourself is, is there anything about the Trump indictment that is illegal? No. Is it unfair? Yes. Is it unjust? Yes. Is it terrible? Yes, of course. Is it, is it in any way illegal? No. Is there anything that they're doing that uh, Fannie uh, Willis is doing or, or not doing? Is there anything that she's doing that is 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 illegal? No, of course not. No, no. It, it could 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 it be possible that there might have been a racketeering enterprise in the strictest sense of the word? Yeah, sure there is. Let me ask you a question. Let's assume you're a cop and you pull somebody over for going 31 miles an hour in a 30 zone. Is that legal? Yes. Is that chicken? Uh, yes. And then you do it again. And this guy keeps going in the court. And he goes to traffic court. And the judge says, you again. Yeah, you got me again. 31. And the, and the, the cop says, no, no, no. Here's, the, here's the, the, the gun. Here's the radar gun. 31 miles an hour. It's been calibrated. He was. And he does it again. Let's assume this same cop, for the sake of argument, argument let, let's assume that this cop stops somebody. A hundred times. Gives him a hundred tickets for going 31. And it's all him. You would say, wait a minute. Maybe the sergeant, maybe the command officer, maybe the chief of police would say, come here, trooper. Of, I'm getting a lot of complaints from you. Why? We don't do this. But they broke the law. I know, but there's this thing called discretion. What are you doing? Other people are going 50 and you're stopping this guy. That's Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton's talking about stuff, and Trump's only problem is that Trump should have gone in for the kill, like he did, but he's a nice guy. You don't let these people up. When you got their, your, your boot on their neck, you finish them off. A coup de grace. That's what you do. But he didn't do that. He didn't understand it. See, he's a nice guy. Trump, in many respects, is a schmuck. He picks the wrong people. He, he had this idea that the rules that apply to Hillary and the Democrats would apply to him. In 2000, when Dershowitz and Larry Tribe ran the phone and said, hey, we're going to challenge this. Wait a minute, hold it. Check these votes. Do this challenge. They were applauded. Yay! Great. Now we got the 65 Project and you have lawyers lose their license for daring to overturn. You see, so everything is, look, 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 look. See this? It's It doesn't, the rules don't apply anymore. The rules don't apply. This world that used to kind of spin on a regular basis, it doesn't, it doesn't apply anymore. It doesn't, it doesn't work that way. You don't understand. And the people who were who were the most interested, the people who were the most caring, the people who were the most sentient, the people who were the most aware of what's going on is you. You're the ones. You're the ones. This is this is we we are it. We're like the bottom line of this thing. We are so critical in what we do. And we will not be ignored, to use a great line from Fatal Attraction. We will not be ignored. Because guess what? Nobody's gonna help Trump. The Republicans hate Trump. Look at me. The Republicans hate him. Jim Jordan hates him. Fox News hates him. You watch Fox News. Did you see this cover? Oh, my God. <clears throat> Airhead bimbets, one after another, providing this mindless cocktail party. Blah. They're not serious. They can't stand Trump. Trump is antithetical to the goings-on of the usual, typical... Uh, a, 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 a Republican world and they can't stand him. But let me go back to what I said initially. Goodbye, Heine. Goodbye. We're not going to be talking to you now because you see, there used to be a guy, maybe in my generation, you might remember a guy named Eric Bren, maybe not his name, but he used to be on, on Ed Sullivan. He would spin plates and bowls. Maybe you've seen him. 
And he could do like five, ten. And then he'd go back, spin a plate, and go back and do this one and go back. And he could have five, ten, fifteen bowls, plates. And that's what you have to do in order to be a sentient, aware, uh, cognizant citizen of the world. You have to be able to do that. You've got to be able to, 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 to recognize the fact that there are these, these many issues ha- uh, occurring simultaneously. And you've got to be able to handle them accordingly. But we can't do that. Because people are going to be watching Fox and Newsmax and all that stuff. And it's so trite. It's so superficial. It's so, it's, it doesn't, it doesn't get to the problem. We're not going to forget Lahaina. We're not going to do this. We're not. And as I've been telling you, listen, just watch it. Watch some of your theories. Some of them are real whoppers. They're okay. I understand your suspicion. Believe it or not, believe me, I understand your suspicion. But please be very, very careful and understand specifically that what we're talking about right now is something that you're going to see again. There's going to be more fires. There's going to be tsunamis. There's going to be earthquakes. There's going to be more stuff. You have seen everything. Look at what's happening right now. San Francisco, New York, Seattle, Portland. We have a tsunami of crime. We have more. I'm here in New York. I got, I've uh, been here for decades, 30, I don't know, years. And I got to do an argument today. This guy, I'm, I'm seeing a guy doing, doing needles in between his toes, just like on TV. I said, what are you doing? I don't do anything. I said, you're putting a needle in your foot. I'm seeing this. We got there. Why is he No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Guys drool. I said, I can't believe a ju- drool with a drool. I said, I can't believe this. Make a long story short. It's all over the place. It's all over the world. It's not just here. It's Europe. It's this, it's this change of order. Order is over. I'm going to talk to you more about that. But please, let me ask you again. Please do me a favor. Please follow me on Twitter. I still call it Twitter. I'm sorry. Please, please do this. Please do this. Subscribe also to Lionel Nation on YouTube. And also, please like this video and subscribe. It it, it means so much to us, and we appreciate your thoughts and kind uh, comments. If you pray, pray for Lahaina. Pray. Pray for them. Pray for them. And stick with us. Let's get to the bottom. Let's focus on the truth, and let's make sure that our voice is heard. And now, if you wouldn't, you could please comment. Comment below in your beautiful, brilliant words. Comment as you see fit.